Now, one of the first things that you can do is a lot of us get in the habit of just washboarding chords, which means strumming all the way through. Totally fine, nothing wrong with that at all. But you can start to separate the lower strings and the higher strings and get a more dynamic sound. Right, versus. Right, you can go. Same picking strokes, but I'm just attacking different groups of strings, per se. G, C, F, I mean, a billion songs, right? Now, what would happen if we, say, took the G and then halved the other parts? Automatically, the same chords are starting to sound a little bit different. The whole feel of the song has changed, right? We got... Okay, so there's that approach. There's the approach of strumming and picking single notes together. Now, don't get me wrong here, this doesn't have to be um, hard. This can be more like a you're strumming and you just kind of intermittently decide instead of strumming through all the strings, you're just going to pick one in that chord. And what we can do to kind of help us do that is not make our stroke so broad. Maybe good one good stroke through the two downs. And then shorten our picking strumming arm, right? Shorten the distance that we move this hand. Which comes again back to the dividing the bass and the treble strings. Now that's one thing, and if you do that, then it totally adds more to that sound. Maybe not even so much single strings, but two strings, you know, versus the whole chords worth. That will totally help as well. This is, these are all great things to work on the accuracy of this hand too, because this is where so much of the feel comes from. You can hear a million people play the same chords and you get those people that just really sound different. It's because they really get this hand going and they, they learn that feel and the dynamics that can be used with this hand. I mean, it's, it's amazing what you can do with just your picking hand. Okay, so after that, if I took the same thing and now say, instead of just playing the chords like this, maybe I hammer into them. Right, and I do the same thing where I'm maybe trying to target some of the notes and then playing, you know, bass treble bass treble. So that might sound something like this. Now, on the G, I've been doing two upstrokes all the time. Maybe instead of doing two upstrokes to keep it different, maybe on one of them, I just hit one. 